are two ways well there's one way of doing the feet but there are two ways of actually um, incorporating those feet into the whole project so let me show you as described in your instructions um, you would make your two feet you would join them together and then you would wrap a lovely um, pipe, pipe cleaner around and then you would build your body up around that around the pipe cleaner perfect okay or there's another way which is my preference personally which is I actually make my little feet um, join them together I wouldn't put the pipe cleaner on um, but I would make um, the rest of the wire which is left just into a little long shape I would then make the shape of the chick and then I would actually felt this on underneath okay so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both ways but either way making of the feet is exactly the same it's only once you've actually joined them together is whether you have add a pipe cleaner and then carry on working around that or whether you put it aside and make the piece and then add it afterwards okay the only reason that I prefer to do um, my way which is put the legs on afterwards is because I love to change my mind about what I'm doing and where I'm doing it so if I haven't actually already added the feet I can go a different way with the shape um, move it around and then add the feet at the end now you will note um, if you look at a picture of a chick or if you actually look here because basically you make this gorgeous shape but then they do have like fluffy, fluffy little um, shorts trousers on which come down so that's the bit which would I would felt on and then cover it up but I will do both ways here as I say um, but the first way we will do is do it the crafty kit way and then the second way I will do is show you how I do it but as I say either way feet are exactly the same okay so we've moved our needles over there going to move my pipe cleaners over there so that's what we are going for in terms of the um, all in I've got def different stages to show you so you can see where we're actually trying to get to so that's if we've got two separate feet before we join them together okay let me put my wires down here here's before we actually do the twiddling and here's if we just folded them in half so the reason why I wanted to show you all these different um, stages is so that hopefully I can explain to you where we are at every stage okay now two per chick so let's put two over there and I've got my two for my little chick pop down there brilliant okay so the first thing that we're actually going to do is obviously going to do one at a time and I hasten to add I have got my little um, pliers I personally like to have two sets of pliers I'm just looking to see what else I've got here but I've got some smaller ones rather than those ones yeah I personally like to have two sets of pliers but I'll show you that in a minute um, I will do both of them so it might be as well to watch one and then make your decisions as to whether you want two or one set of pliers um, and then we can do the second one together and obviously you can rewind it because it's a video marvelous okay so we bend it in half and then we basically are going to make the little toes now obviously our eventuality is we're going to make four toes one of which is going to be the back one three are going to be out the front yeah other there so in folding this in half to make it even that folded one is going to be that center one there okay bom, bom, bom. so that there will be that now what I do to start with is I don't use my pliers because I like to do this and see that I've got it pretty even and know where I'm going okay we 
ruler. Now I've got business card. Now let me see. Now each toe is going to be about one centimeter. I'm just checking to see that is about one centimeter. Yeah, it's a little bit more. But as I say, they have big feet, so I'm not actually worried if they're overly big. Um, I will also show you at the end is there's one little thing that I do um, to give them little claws, which you may or may not want to do, but that's at the end. Right, so I have borrowed my other half's business card. Borrowed? Not really, because I'm not going to give it back. So it's a bit more like stolen. So I'm just going to cut a piece off the end. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, so I have got a business card. I've literally snipped a bit off the end, which is a bit more than I want. It's one and a half centimetres, so I'm going to chop that off a bit more. This will be roughly about one centimetre. As I say, it's an art, not a science. Yeah, just a little bit over. Brilliant. Okay, pop my ruler there. Now, as I say, this is actually that bend there. And I need to make four toes. Okay, so I'm just going to pop my little card in there. Yeah, and then I'm going to fold that over that way. And I'm going to fold that one over that way. And then I'm going to fold under that way. Okay, and that one over that way. So, so far, we've got two toes. So we need to fold that one back and that one underneath. And basically, I have my one, two, three, four toes. Okay, I'm going to pull that out. So you can see how I've got four toes. Now you can see why I don't pinch them until I actually get to this next stage. Okay, so we have our four toes. So now we're going to um, do the twisting so we get that lovely little look there. So let me just splay them out a little bit. Right, now, this is why I use two pliers, okay? So I hold that end nice and tightly. And then I pick my pliers up this end, okay, so that I can just twist. Hopefully, this is all going to go swimmingly. There we go. Then we get quite a nice twist, I think, if you do that. There we go. Quite a nice twist, I think. Lovely. Then I'm just going to bend that back slightly so that I can go to the next one, which I'm going to put my pliers in the top there. And then I'm going to twist. Okay. Let me pay attention to the fact that I am going to have the leg coming up like this, aren't I? So he's going to go around the back. I say he. That little toe is going to go around the back. That little toe is going to be around there. Okay. So I'm just thinking they're going to be my front four. That's going to be my back one. Excellent. And once again, I just need to make sure I've got that held in there, those two, I think I've got them, yeah, now make sure I'm doing that twiddle down the bottom, lovely, like all things like this you don't want to over manipulate them because every time you undo it and do it you weaken it a little bit, so this is why 
I like to have it sort of splayed out a little bit. Okay, so we have just one more to go. You bent a little bit, didn't you? Because that was over there, up there. Okay, there we go. Lovely. So I'm going to just move him around a little bit. And then I'm going to do my last one. Okay, where I'm going to hold once again that end. I mean, I could make it easier on myself and squish this end in, to be honest. There we go. Twist. Okay. And I think we have our four toes. Now, this is where sometimes I look at it and I want to make sure um, that I'm putting the smallest one at the back. So just in case I've got a wayward one that's very, very short, I might want to swap it around. Now in this case, um, I have I think that one's smallest. So I think I want to move that one to the back, which is fair enough because I can then just move them forward and that back because it doesn't matter. This, this is just going to get twisted itself, okay? Anyway, all right, so there we go. I think so. I think I like that. Okay. So the only other thing I'm going to look for here before I tidy it up is this one which is going to come up, this last one. I'm going to just take that underneath and take it up the other side. Can you see? So I've got this coming from this side and that one coming from that side. Does that make sense? Because otherwise there'd be a bit of a gap. Yeah. Just so that I can now bring that together because I now need to make the equivalent of this leg coming up here. Okay. Now, the important thing to think of here is what we don't want to do is to wrap one wire around the other, okay? Because that's when it actually looks uneven, if you've ever seen or done it before and thought, why did that happen? So I'm going to be very careful to do half a twist, half a twist. So I absolutely am putting each one around the other, okay? So now that I've done that, I'm going twist, okay, and then twist, twist. So I really am equally putting one wire around the other rather than having one straight one and wrapping another one around it, okay. I'm just always adjusting to make sure my um, leg is nicely straight okay now then how long did we make these let me have a little look shall i measure them let's see it's always best isn't it so i made that little leg about three now what did i do here yeah i made it about three and then i did the join over the top okay so i can afford to do a bit more whoops that's my other one this is the one that i did with you so make sure I've got that the right way okay twist 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 lovely right so where are we with our we've got our little three out the front one out the back I think that's quite cute. I quite like that. Yeah. Brilliant. What I am going to do is just do it so that that last little hoop um, points down. So it's almost like that's your little claw pointing down. Do you see what I mean? There we go. Yeah. Lovely. 
Now I just need to do the other one so that we can join them together. Okay, right, so let's do that again. So here's number two, once again, let's fold it in half. Where did I abandon my, oh, there, <laughs> can't see for looking. Right, and once again, I am going to pop that in the middle um, because as I said, that is that middle one upside down. Okay, so we have one over, under. I'm going to turn it round now because as I say, that central one was that one coming down. So we've got two toes at the top. And now if I bring that one down, I've got three toes and bring that one down. I've got four toes. Okay, lovely. Let's pull that out. Lovely. Let's splay these out again. So we can have a little look at our tootsies. Make sure you can see. Okay. Okay. This time, what I will do is just squish this down. Now that you've seen it once. We'll squish this down. Which may make it easier for you to do. But I thought the first time it was easier for you to see. There we go. So I've just squished down my little tootsies. And now once again, I'm going to get my my second tweezers, tweezers, pliers to hold that end. And I'm just going to start that first one down nice and low. And then I'm going to start my twist. There we go. And now we go on to the second one. Let's bend that one up as it is going to be the leg, as I say. And we will hold that one there. I've got hold of it. There you go. Once you get that first turn in, it's a lot easier to hold it. Okay. Just do that little bend up down there once again. Splay them out just so that I can hold on to it. There you go. So I start my first one down there and then off I go. I haven't done a particular number of twists I don't know if anyone is counting, but I just stop when I get to the end. Okay. And then the last one. Okay. That last one. Hold on to, if I just move that slightly so I can get my tweezers in. Gonna move you that way. Start that low again and then just continue up from here. 
doing that term. There we go. And once again, I have my four toes and I need to decide which one I want to have as my back toe. Actually, I think quite like that one as my back toe. So let me move these others forward. Oops. And then I'll decide whether I need to put anything underneath. Right, so yeah, once again, I've got them both out, both these wires out this side. And when I'm going to um, twist them up, I'd rather have one wire over this side and one wire over that side. So that one I'm going to take underneath. Or should I take that one? Oh, decisions, decisions. No, nope, I'm going to take that one. See, this is how you realise that this isn't really a science. This is just making it up as I go along. Okay, there we go. Make sure we squish that a little bit. And then hopefully I can start my twisting of my leg once again. Okay, to match the other one. So let's again cross over our wires so that I can do my twist, twist, twist. Okay. Twist, 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 twist. I will measure in a minute. But actually, I just need to make sure it's not, yeah, it's not to go. Make it about the same as the other one, really, rather than. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. One more twist, or is it? About the same, isn't it? About the same. Okay, so now, now that I've done that, let me have a little look. Do I need to just make sure they're all nicely tight in? There you go, that in. Just pull those in. Pull those in nicely. See how on the ones which I um, flattened, that's a nice pointed toe. And on my ones here that I didn't flatten, I've got that curvy bit. Um, and you'll notice I left the curvy bit on the others as well. That's because um, I'm going to show you the different way of doing the toes. So this way is nice and neat already, and you can leave them like that, unless you want to do my little toe thing, which I'll show you at, um, at the end. I'm thinking about that now because I'm thinking perhaps you need to make a decision about it now rather than get okay let me show you now because then you can make that decision okay so what I do when I've um, finished the whole little bird little chick um, and got them all done is I get my little pliers and this little loop I snip it underneath And then I pull that out so that I've actually got a claw. Now, that is undoubtedly going to be too long initially. So I've still got my pliers. Let me just neaten that little bit off. And so I would just snip it a little bit again so that I've got that little claw. OK, now that is quite cute because obviously chicks, etc., have claws. Um, I'm looking now for my, and normally what I would use is some little nail polish just to make it black or whatever color, whichever bird we're doing, which I say we're doing the chick at the moment. Um, I would get some nail polish maybe and just um, finish off the end bit. But twofold, I quite like claws. And also when you've got claws on the end, or end of the toes when you pop it down it's got something to stab into and sometimes it just makes it balance a bit better but as I say you would get that all the way or you just have a nice neat 
toe that you've got here. Either way. Um, but I just suddenly thought I need to tell you that now, don't I, in case you want to make the decision before you start squishing. Your decision. Um, or you might want to fast forward to the end of the um, video and see what mine look like and make your decision then. I mean, it's always actually preference to watch the video all the way through and then come back um, and do it. Yeah, so those are those two options. Okay, right. Now we need to just join them together. So let me take that over there now because I don't need to refer to that anymore. So let us double check the instructions, make sure we are obeying what we should be doing. Yeah, join the legs together by twisting the wire, leaving a gap of around two centimeters. Yeah, so here, that bit across is about, from there to there is about two centimeters. Um, and the foot to there, yeah, it's about three. So it's about three and then about two. So I need to say about four, don't I? So four is about here. So I'm going to just do that a little bit more. because This is the bit which isn't seen. So I don't really mind if I, there you go. So it's just a little bit more than four. A couple bit more. Okay, there we go. Lovely, right. We can play around with our feet to our heart's content once we're done. But let's have a go here, right, so I am going to join them like this, okay? So bearing in mind, I'm gonna bend them down in a minute, but I've actually, if I make sure they're the right way, okay? And bearing in mind, we are gonna have, we're gonna join them together and there's gonna be a bit out the front and a bit out the back, so. Pop them together, forward with their little three toes forward, one toe back, okay, and then I'm going to connect them. And basically, I'm gonna twist these two together and those two together. So if I just pull them together so that you can see that nice and easily, yeah, so that there, and then if we do the same thing as we did, we don't have to make this time look pretty. Okay, so I am, that one's underneath already, so I'm just gonna twist whichever way it is, just to give it that, and then that one the other side, that one's underneath, so I'm doing it that way. As you say, not quite so tidy, but it doesn't matter, because this bit isn't gonna show. Okay, now let's bend these forward, down. And then we can decide, because it doesn't matter if this bit is direct in the center. The important part is they have the same length legs. Okay, because we can twiddle that about. There we go. So have we got about yeah, a little bit over two centimeters across, but that's okay. Let's just bend that down, squidge it about. Yeah, so then that does look quite similar, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. In fact, I think um, possibly he's a little bit taller, but that's fine. So then I'm just gonna finish that off. So this is where I would stop for mine and I would do no more to this, and I would then carry on making my shape. But um, with our Crafty Kit Company instructions, which we're going to do initially, we are going to use our pipe cleaner, and we're going to make it easier for us to add the wall. Okay, I'll wrap that up there, bend that over, nice. 
and bring it back down again. Same with this way. We're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to bend those over. Those ends over. Okay. Bring it back down. Wrap it round that top bit. Okay. And so that we've just got that little shape that we're going to there you go so as I say this is nice bendy wire that we can move around to our heart's content okay that's it that's that's the feet as I say you can still see it I've got my little toe sticking out on that one so on my little sample here I'm going to have feet one way and feet another way but um deck then will give you a chance to decide which one you like best so yeah you might want to fast forward see what mine looks like at the end um in fact hopefully what i can do right now i will put a picture up so that you can see what mine looks like at the end and i can show you now the wizardry of videos excellent yes i will show you that now you can make a decision as to which way you want to go. Okay. You might want to do one chick one way and the other chick the other way. There you go, because you've got two chicks to do. Excellent. Okay, so we will go on to the next stage where we will make our shape around here. <laughs> 